Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about the quadratic equations chapter. So it is very important chapter. It has the weightage in the board examination. Five marks. You may get here one four mark question and one one mark question. So now, <coughs> so what are the topics? What are the concepts involved in this? What we have to do? The general form of the quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero, where a is not equal to zero. So this is called as the quadratic equation. So what is the meaning of quadratic? Quadratic is nothing but the equation which has its highest power is two. So the highest power is nothing but an exponent of the quadratic. Equation. Since it is having equal to zero, so that we can call it is quadratic equation. If it is simply has written a x square plus b x plus c, then it is called quadratic polynomial. So now, in this chapter, we are going to learn about the solving of quadratic equation. So we have two methods to solve this quadratic equation. One is factorization method second one is formula method so that we are having factorization method and formula method so what is factorization method factorization method is not nothing but so you have learned in the eighth class splitting the middle term so splitting the middle term what is the meaning of splitting the middle term So now I am giving here one example to you. Let us take the one example: x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to zero. So find the solution or find the zeros or find the roots of the quadratic equation: x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to zero. They will ask the question as find the roots or find the zeros. The meaning of the zeros or roots both have. Same meaning here. So now x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to zero. Identify the constant. Since here the constant is 12, so that the constant we can write here 4 into 3. If you add this one, 4 plus 3 equals to we will get here 7. So that instead of this 7 place, we can replace with the 4 and 3. So that we can write here x square plus 4x. Plus 3x plus 12 equals to zero. In the first two terms, we have x as a common, so that x plus 4. In the next two terms, we have 3 as a common, so 3 into x plus 4 equals to zero. So again, we have x plus 4 and x plus 4 as a common term, so that we can write this one as x plus 4 into x plus 3 equals to zero. So from this the first value x plus 4 equals to 0, x equals to minus 4, or x plus 3 equals to 0, x equals to minus 3. Now these both are nothing but zeros of a quadratic polynomial, quadratic equation, and zeros of a roots of a quadratic equation. The same thing. So what is the formula method? So to solve this quadratic equation. We have the formula x equals to minus b plus r minus two b square minus four ac by two a. So now here we can take the condition. The same expression you can take it here. We are having the expression as a algebraic expression, algebraic equation x square plus seven x plus twelve equals to zero. Compare the terms with. A x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. Whereas here the numerical quotient of x square is one, so that the quotient of x square can be taken a equals to one and b equals to seven and c equals to twelve. Now the formula we are having as x equals to minus b plus r minus Root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Substitute those values as it is in the formula, so that x equals to minus b is nothing but minus 7 plus or minus root 
d square d means your seven square minus four into a means one and c means twelve by two a two into one. So that minus seven plus or minus root forty nine minus forty eight by two. So minus seven plus or minus root one by two. So this can be taken minus seven plus or minus one by two. Now x equals to we have two cases minus seven plus one by two is one and x equals to minus seven minus one by two. So that x equals to minus six by two and x equals to minus eight by two. Then x equals to minus three and x equals to minus two. Now we see here the both the cases we got the same solution. So that we can solve the quadratic equation in two ways. One is factorization method, and the other one is formula method.